<laughs> I know you guys have been wondering why I've not been creating videos. Man, it has not really been easy from the ASO strike to when the color strike and we started school again and the school stress and everything. My god, it has not really been easy. Thank you to all those who reached out to me. Mwah, I love all of you. Thank you very much. So without further ado, let's get on to today's video. Hey guys, my name is Agri Chic. I teach people about agriculture and I also share my lifestyle on this channel. So if you want to learn about agriculture, the business of agriculture, how to go into agriculture and the potential of agriculture, just go down below, subscribe like my videos please so that i can rank and do well to turn on that notification button so that you can always get notification for my videos so today we'll be talking about my fpt experiences what i call taste of song guy so we're continuing from where we stopped and um, this is week four episode five <laughs> all right so in week four we actually went to Three different units. First of all, was the layers unit, other poultry unit, and snail unit. So, this video is actually going to be, be a very short video. There was really nothing much that we did in these units. Just to give you a, refre give you a refresh of everything, for, in case of those that I've forgotten, and in case of my new subscribers. So, FPT actually means field practical training. As an agricultural student, I am mandated to go for IT industrial training and my school takes us to a particular place songai ampe delta state songai farms in delta state and then we stay there for a month there about learning practical practical learning and everything so the three different units that we went to in the fourth week was layers other poultry and snare unit so let me just start with the snare unit okay so the snail unit, they really do not have snails. So, like, if you've been following my videos, you see, you hear me talk about how some guy lack, um, not infrastructure, but they lack resources. So, because they lack resources, they can't really produce much. The some guy is on about over fifteen thousand hectares of land, but they don't have resources to actually utilize those lands. So, if they are um snail pen, I could not really get um pictures of the snail pen. But the snail pen are over five of them, but they are not functioning. They are just bare and there like that. And we, we barely saw like maybe four or five snails there. <laughs> so it was really actually hilarious and pathetic at the same time. Then the other poultry units, I think that was like one of my, um, I think, I don't want to say most interesting, but it was one of the most okay, beautiful units. So the other poultry unit includes aesthetic beds. Aesthetic bed, beds that actually like give beauty to a place. So they had ostrich, they had bulls, and they had ducks. They don't really eat these things. They just they, they, the beds are just there to beautify the farm. They are actually at the gates. So when you just enter into Songhai, the first um, pens, the first animals you see that will welcome you into Songhai, welcome to Songhai. <laughs> they are those beds. You see the ostrich. They have two ostrich, a male and a female. Oh, well, don't go near the male. Oh. <laughs> if you go near the male, you can remove your head. It's very, very protective of the female. Then you have the goose and you have the ducks. So, and the duck pens. Like, this, these are pictures from um, the goose and duck pens. And, like, they're very beautiful birds. But they have this they are very dirty water that they used to wallow in. Like, well, even though they were beautiful, their environment was not so beautiful like that. Sha, all we did was clearing grass. So if you actually have been following my videos too, you'll notice that clearing grass is a ritual in Songhai. So there's no units that you go to that you know clear grass. So basically what we did in the other poultry unit was going to clear grass and we fed the goose and the geese. We did not need the ostrich <laughs> because handling the ostrich ostriches takes um, a, lot, a, a little bit of experience and um, for them to know you before you'll be able to handle them. Then I think the most interesting unit um, in this section is the layers unit so yes yeah, so we um, had the opportunities to visit the layers unit Songa has about a thousand beds for layers that actually is very very small for a farm of that capacity they have so many layer pens and houses and everything but no resources to actually stock those pens so you can see pictures of that is me inside one of the pens and um, they really do not allow us even to pick the eggs <laughs> because Shadi are scared of students. <coughs> <Censored. laughs> 
<laughs> so well we just basically we cleaned the place we counted the beds for them and yeah we still clear grass it's a very funny word but the truth the just the sad truth we still clear grass in the layers unit and these are pictures from those units it's actually a very beautiful experience for me and my group members it was wonderful and they also taught us a little bit about layers the feeds to give them at what time to give them and things like that so don't worry guys sit 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 tight sit tight, sit tight. no those those informations are coming later on you really don't want to miss it and that's a wrap for today's episode see you on my next episode where i'll be talking about week five experiences mm, i know right that's my last week in song guy yes so man i know you're happy <laughs> i know it has passed but i'm still happy man that week five was like one of my happiest was was my happiest week in Songa because i know that that was the last week so guys sit back relax and i'm going to talk about week five in my next video ciao thank you very much for watching please do not forget to subscribe if you've not already subscribed like this video turn on that notification button and leave a comment down below ask me questions i'm here to answer your questions all right take care